So that leads on to the, the final question that we ask guests on the show, and you can nuance this in, in any way you like. What do you think the role of the HR function will be in, in 2025 and beyond? Yeah, so what, what I like, the trend that I'm seeing, and, um, and I'm seeing this, it, you know, obviously I, don't, I can't answer about all the different companies out there, but what I'm seeing in, um, at Microsoft is, is the HR organization is really thinking about the skills that we need for the future. And even the, the universities are thinking about that. You know, it used to be that we recruited heavily from these schools like uh, University of Minnesota that had kind of a master's in HR concentration. It if you would. Now we're recruiting HR professionals that have MBAs, okay? And in in those courses, they're being taught about analytics, okay? And they come to to Microsoft hungry to be part of my team as one of their rotations, okay? Yeah. Which is amazing. Um, but you know, I see that there are are people that have these um, kind of consulting skills. They have analytics skills. They have more business skills um, all across the the function in a much bigger way than I than we've kind of seen historically. But, um, you know, 2025 is not that far away. Um, I, I, not, I also think that the role of HR is becoming more and more sophisticated. Okay. Um, they truly are consultants for the business on, um, most company with most companies would say their most important asset is their people. Okay. And so the fact that, that HR is in every conversation about people, okay. Whether it's about, it's not just about performance management anymore. Okay. Mm. It, it's about everything, every aspect of getting the work done. That's really where I see the role will shift. Um, and, and it's because technology and what we can do with technology and what we can build in, um, to, um, kind of the everyday work that we do. And then nudge people so that there doesn't have to be an HR person that follows people around telling them what to do. Okay, we can use technology for that. Let's use um, our HR resources where we can have the, the, the biggest bang for, um, for our buck, which is really along the lines of these kind of business opportunities, strategic decisions. And I'll give you an exciting time for HR. I mean, we only have to go back a few weeks and see the business roundtable announcement that it's more than profit. And I think actually a lot of those companies are already doing this. They are looking at employees, they are looking at stakeholders, they are looking at the environment. Yes. And you, you know, not all of those 181 companies are probably doing it to a large degree at the moment, but. And you know, there are many other companies that weren't part of that list. Who already do that it. That are already doing yeah, it. Yeah, and okay. I think that's a good sign. And that, that help, you know, that that's only going to increase the importance of HR moving forward. I yeah. Think, so. Yeah, it's definitely been a focus for us for quite a while. Mm. Dawn, it's always a pleasure. Thank you very much. Lastly, how can people stay in touch with you? So you can find me on LinkedIn. Um, and my name's again, Dawn Klinghoffer, and you can find me as the, the head of people analytics at Microsoft. Um, and feel free to, um, to link in with me and you can read the articles. I have them posted there. Um, Perfect. And we'll share that. And I know you do a little bit on Twitter, but that's more for your other passion, which yeah, is cooking. I don't it? do a much I don't do much on, <laughs> on Twitter. Um, but it is funny. I, I um, people will tag me on Twitter, but I'm not a big Twitter poster. Yeah. So So LinkedIn's the place to find yeah, Dawn. LinkedIn Dawn, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe by your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.